Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I will be reviewing a pair of boots I just picked up. Here are the 1990s Dirk Bickenberg's four strap boots. So I got this pair of boots locally from a guy named Troy. Once again, big thank you for selling them to me. Just a quick background on these pair of boots. They are made in the 90s by the Belgium designer himself, Dirk Bickenberg's, belonging to the Antwerp 6. These pair of boots are well over 20 years old and they are kept in really good condition. This is the fourth pair of boots I've got from him. The first two variations had metal heel at the back. They were slightly on the heavy side, not as comfortable, and I had to sell them. The third pair is actually my favorite variation with the wooden heel design, but unfortunately those were not in my proper size, so I had to let them go as well. This is my fourth pair. It looks a lot more promising with the Velcro straps as well as this wooden heel, so I thought of giving it a go. Here's the first look at the boots. They did not come with any box or accessories, so I'm unable to show it to you guys. It is made from a very nice soft calf leather. For the silhouette of the boot, you can see a very narrow opening and it slowly flares down towards the bottom of the boot. On the exterior side, rather minimal, you have a stitching that starts at the strap going all the way behind. You have a paneling here and you have two Velcro straps going towards this direction. Here's the instep, very similar design. You have a stitching running across two of the straps towards the instep direction, panel at the back. Now moving on to the highlight of the boot, you have the four prominent Velcro straps at the front. It has a very intriguing crisscross interlocking Velcro design. The shoe tongue opens up fully and it makes putting on the boots very simple. The straps all have a metal tip at the end. Only on the third Velcro strap, there is the Dirk Bickenberg's branding engraved on the metal tip. The rest of them are left without the branding. Slightly before the toe box, in the middle, you have a piping or a stitching line which goes from the middle all the way to the bottom of the instep. For the front, you have a very nice curved and oversized toe box which is rather elevated. The rounded toe box do not follow the contours of the outsole. The outsole is a bit more rectangular which makes it look a bit like a ski boot. Here's the back of the boot. You can see a rectangular flap here stitched on, ending with a small square pull tab, and you have stitching lines below. The interior of the boot has a very nice suede finishing. The back heel region as well as the insole are made from a brown leather. The insole has the Dirk Bickenberg's branding, and it is glued to the base of the shoe. Here's the stitching of the outsole. The first layer on top is probably stacked leather followed by a layer of wood. At the back of the heel, you have this portion which protrudes out. It gives the illusion of another layer at the outsole, really adding to the chunkiness of the boot. For this pair, it is entirely vibrant, so I can't show you the sizing tag, which is usually in the middle of the boot, as well as the traction pattern on the forefoot as well as the heel. Now moving on to sizing, I'm normally a US 9 in most Nike sneakers and for designer shoes, I tend to wear a European 42. For this pair of boots, the previous owner told me that it was a tag size 42. As for me, when I'm wearing them, my left side fits perfect. When I'm walking around, there's no discomforts or any issues. But for my right feet, my big toe actually touches the front of the toe box when I'm walking. It's probably the way I walk and how my foot lifts off. I'll probably give them a few more wears to get my feet used to the weight of the boot. So overall, I definitely recommend going through the size with these pair of boots. I reckon that one size up would be too big for me and one size down would be too small. To sum up my thoughts on these pair of boots, first of all, the functionality as well as the comfort. I love the four strap Velcro. It makes putting on the boots so much easier and fuss free. In terms of comfort, the boots are a lot more bearable compared to the other Dirk models I've reviewed. Next, the design of the boot. These pair of boots look like it came out from the Matrix movie. You have a very minimalistic strap design with metal accents on the ends of the strap. Very nice bulky silhouette and an oversized outsole. Good for my short kings out there. Because of its oversized nature, it pairs really well with flat pants or oversized baggy pants. Especially at the back of the heel, you have this portion protruding out, so it contain the pants really nicely and it would not drag on the ground. 
And lastly, the quality as well as the construction. The leather use on this pair is really nice. It's very soft and supple. And overall, the boot feels really sturdy and solid very well constructed. Considering these pair of boots are designed in the 90s, it was way ahead of its time. Dirk definitely had the vision locked in. I definitely recommend you guys to pick it up if you're ever looking for a pair. I hope this video has given you the information you need on these pair of Dirk Bickenberg's four-strap boot. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.